that's Andrusha and you're watching Andrusha Couture TV. Hoo hoo hoo, isn't this a good one? Okay, isn't this a good one? But no one gives a shit about you. I have to mention this and it's so cute. I have a big bag for it. So to prove I give a Chanel compact mirror, double facets mirror away every sit down video. I know I've been called crazy. Why am I doing it? A hundred dollar mirror every video because I want to because I want to give back. It's been 110 years that I have been on the internet and I want to give back to you guys. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, comment anything below, go to Instagram, follow me there, comment on anything there I will find you I am verified on both platforms there's been a bit of scamming going on please make sure it is me I have a check on both of my names okay what do we say everyone has covered this topic everyone in the luxury community has covered this topic guess what I'm not gonna cover it that's it I'm not gonna get the manuscripts out I'm not gonna read the attorney's letters I'm gonna link below some of the girls and guys that have done the best videos on this and I have commented I've sent someone I saw this come out on BOF I sent some of this information to some girls some other girls that do great reports on this I sent it to Sophie I sent it to Caitlin I thought she would totally dive into this but guess what Jerusha does have a say. A lot of you were asking if I was going to say something about it. I put out a story on Instagram saying I heard that it just came out. When Purse Bob sent me the article privately, ding. If you haven't checked them out, please follow them on Instagram. I'll link them below. They are also the first kind of reporting base of everything to do with luxury. Okay, this is not the first. This won't be the last. And this is my straight up opinion on it. All the videos that are covering this from start to finish, they got so much tea on this, I'm not going to pull out anything for you. I'm just going to be raw. I'm going to tell you how it is. I want to shout out to my girl Jessie. Hey Jessie Styles. She will be linked below too. She came at it the same way I'm going to come at it. I don't usually use profanities but I'm going to in this video because it is mind-blowing to me. Mind-blowing to me especially the fact that just <laughs> Legality wise, suing someone in general, okay, to sue someone across the board is really, really expensive. Here we go, ready? You don't matter, period, across the board, okay? I do not matter, we do not matter. The common, the middle level, the top, the elite level, we don't even matter. That's how high up it goes. We are talking about these major, major conglomerates. It's mean, it's really mean, but no one gives a shit about you. And I'm saying that straight to these two plaintiffs from California who have obviously just got to a point where they've got their knickers in a knot and they are just so over it. Yes, we are all over it. If we are going in as shoppers, there is not a gun to your head. And Jesse said that. Yes, we can be over it. Yes, we can come on the internet. Yes, we can gag and talk about it and just say how annoying it is and annoying it is. They don't care. Not one bit. Do you know what they care about? Three things, pretty much. I'm going to probably put them into categories, but one thing. All MS care about is making money. MS are floated, okay? They are in the stock market. They have underneath, they're in a subsidiary, so they are in CAC40. They have stocks. LVMH are floated as well. Caring is floated as well. All the way down to makeup conglomerates as massive as Cody, they're all floated. So my second point would probably have to be something along the lines of, as unfortunate as it sounds, wealth, stature, positioning in life, in business, in company structure. What does it make the brand look like? Who is wearing this? Who has complete and utter dedication to the brand to have a face to the brand, to have speaking for the brand, how it looks, how it portrays, at the end of the day, it is also a competition, a massive competition. These conglomerates are worth billions and billions of dollars. In my opinion, what will come of it? I think 
quietly, maybe under the table, Hermes will do something to shut them up, okay? If their sales associates are suggesting an amount, a pre-spend, then fine, fire them if there is proof. On top of it, the sales associates don't care. Yeah, they make a friendly relationship with you, but they need to look good for the company. That's who they're employed for. Do you try to look good for your job, your position, in your job, in your career, in the company you work for? Those sales associates do as well. It's their career, it's their job, it's their livelihood. Now how they present themselves underneath the banner of MS, especially MS, may be their own choice. Are they fishing? Are they link selling? I don't know. But guess what? I don't care. And either should you. Because if they are, and they suggest that you buy a Shantong fully diamond encrusted bracelet for $28,000, no one is holding a gun to your head to do that to then acquire a Birkin or Kelly or quota bag as we call it. They don't call it a quota bag, okay? They don't say it's the top of the tier quota bag. They never do that. They let the general public, the general spenders, the general buyers who are the enthusiasts of the luxury house to then make up their choice or essentially us, this generation who have made up this quota bag word to then push the brand, okay? We're all on the internet right now covering this story, covering this lawsuit, BOF are covering the lawsuit. It is news, it is media. As they say, the newspapers, yes, it's so important that week, that month, but then they line the bottom of the bin. This is amazing for the house. It is splashed all across the media, all across the, you know, social media and fashion media. And these two people, these plaintiffs have caused such a fuss and such a riot. Do you know how much advertising that is? Okay, Hermes is just sitting back there like, yeah, sister, talk about my company as much as you like. Do you think two people, 40 people, 100 people, 100,000 people are going to make a difference to the top, top, top elite tier spenders? Now, I'm not talking about just celebrities. Do they get gifted these handbags? Who knows? Do they get gifted them from MS or do they get gifted them from resellers? That's the other thing you've got to think of. These celebrities like your Kardashians, like your Hiltons, they might get gifted them from resellers because that has become such a huge market. Not to the scale of these luxury houses, but enough to them, for them to notice. So that is probably my third and final point. I think. I asked Caitlin what she thought. I asked the real Shaquine. She did a great video on this. I asked her what she thought for the resale market, which is simply just escalating out of control to resell these handbags. Would it make a dent in Hermes? No. Do they really care? No, yes, and if it's yes, it's only for the profile of the luxury brand. How it shows that you can resell. They don't want that tarnish. They don't want that trashy kind of name to them. As unfortunate as it is, you know, your unfortunately fashion file, your privé porté. Hi guys, I love them down in Miami. All of these unbelievable resellers who get these bags, acquire these bags from your elite, and what do they do? Off retail, they put $10,000, $20,000 on top of these bags and they sell. Why? Because they're so hard to acquire in boutique. But this is the whole problem. This is the whole lawsuit, okay? We can't get a Birkin bag. We can't get a Kelly bag without spending before we get offered one-to-one, Two to one. <laughs> Amy, Amy up there in Canada saying it's now three to one to get one of these bags. These bags are not hard to get. They are just not made. They are not your Cheerios of handbags. They're not just handed out willy-nilly and are all over the place. Yes, they might have a lot of stock of them over in France, but they are not just 
on a on a make tray or on a make conveyor belt just being pumped out and pumped out and pumped out it's not like that this is still atelier this is still couturier this is still handmade bags they have to have their quality they have to have their top tier to be that expensive otherwise they wouldn't be so sought after as i said they're not the cheerios of luxury handbag. They're not acquirable. That's what makes them desirable. Ooh, I, may, I should make that into some merchandise. They're not acquirable. That's why they are desirable. That's why they are lines around the Maison in Paris, hoping to get a leather appointment. Why is it easier there? Because it's Paris. It's the Maison. That is where the Atelier started from. That is where the beauty of the luxury house started from. And that's what it's about. At the end of the day, shout out to you, Maddie. I think Maddie will probably cover this, but she's the queen of Chanel. At the end of the day, she actually, she sent me a demographic. I'm going to throw it up here because this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You don't matter when Miss, you don't even know her. She's not on social media. They're not on social media because they don't have the time, nor do they care to be on social media. The top, top, top elite of Malaysia, of Singapore, the top, I'm not talking about royalty, but the top, top elite of China, of Monte Carlo, of all these areas that we're talking extreme elite wealth. They don't need to line up in Paris. They don't need to line up in any boutique. They are walking in they are buying the, oh, I'm going to throw in some pictures here. These are not my pictures. I do follow her. She's completely private, but she is only a customer. Yes, she's on Instagram. I'm not going to link her for her privacy, but this is what she bought the other day. Just, you know, just because she wanted to. The double Kelly joint ring, okay, in full white gold baguettes. You know, just as a daily, you know, she just went shopping. This is who we're talking about. That actual demographic that Maddie sent me is exactly what I'm talking about. They don't give a shit about you. They don't care about these two Californians. What do they want out of this? Firstly, it is so expensive to sue someone, so these guys have money anyway. But if they were the top elite of California, they wouldn't care. That's what I'm trying to say. They wouldn't care. Because A, they love the brand, they're absolute enthusiasts, they show their loyalty to the brand, they show their loyalty to the house. No, they don't just buy, you know, a H decor mug and say that, you know, now can I have a handbag, a Birkin? No, they live, they breathe. Hermes started in equestrian. They started in saddle embroidery. That is where they started. Moving themselves into fashion, moving themselves into ready to wear has been a little bit different, a little bit harder, but this is where those companies mainly lie. They lie in their ready to wear and they lie in their shoes and their fashion accessories. That is the whole point. And I'm, I'm kind of drifting off to Chanel here because, and Dior, because they want you to buy their clothes, not just their sought after handbags. Yes, that complements the outfit after you buy a $12,000 Chanel tweed jacket. So if you kind of get my roundabout point, no one gives a shit about you. No one gives a shit about me. I am not here isolating myself. No one cares. I only have one Kelly offered to me from the boutique by the store manager who, yes, I befriended. I made one purchase. Would you say, oh, because you're a social media personality, they gave it to you, they offered it to you? No, not at all. I spoke the language. I showed that I was an enthusiast for the brand. I had bought my garden party, yes. But at the same time, we spoke, we had conversation, we talked about fashion, we talked about bridal wear and how I wish I had a horse. We're bringing it down to finish this video. I am partial in the sense that I am one of the minority. My title is including me, okay? This 
is a pre pre loved pre owned Birkin 30. This isn't a resale Birkin 30, meaning brand spanking new from the boutique. This is a pre loved Birkin 30. The interesting point I want to make in the actual documents, and again, I will link all those videos below that went over the documents and went over each part of it. Maybe they're not in law, they're not attorneys, but they covered it really well. They also spelt the name of this bag wrong, okay? Again, if I was part of like the chief founding organizers of that company, I would be offended. I'm going to close in saying this is not a la -di da situation, okay? This is not a two, you know, plaintiffs who, what do they want? They want their money back as a pre-spend. They want a sorry from Hermes and then they want damages and they, and then they want their attorney's fees paid back to them. So essentially, what is it you actually want? Because after all of that, you still don't get a Birkin. Is that what you wanted? After all of that, you still don't get a Kelly. Is that what you wanted? You made the world look at you and half of the world look at you and go, that's humiliating. And half of the world go, well, well we already talk about this on social media. And I actually said in my stories, when I said, do you want me to cover this? I was like, are we kind of like lawsuit famous? Because they mentioned social media talking about this quota or Hermes journey or Hermes game. We brought it to light. Are we kind of like famous for that? But if we didn't bring it to light, what would it matter? It wouldn't. Okay, as I said, all of these conglomerates, Bernard Arnault, Francisco Pinault, they're not sitting there worried about you. Mr. Pinault is sitting there worried about Gucci, okay? That is what he's worried about. He is just worried about that dive. He's worried about his investors. Again, CAC40, it's an off share of float. It's an off share of stock. They are worried about that. They're not worried about us. We don't matter, okay? Up here is what matters. Up here is what they want their luxury houses to look like. They don't need it to look like scrappy lawsuits from California to dismayed customers who think it's fishing or link selling. Don't buy it. Don't shop. And after this lawsuit, they won't even get a bag. I'm sorry, it's brutal, but it's true. Okay, it's really, really true. And this is across the board. It's not just in fashion. It's just not in fashion retail, because at the end of the day, that's what it is. It is consumerism. It is, you know, a fluff. People come on these videos and go, you know, free Palestine. We're not talking about what actually matters in life. We're talking about simple, high-end consumerism, ridiculous amounts of money, talking about things that matter in life. We're talking about objects, okay, that are really, really expensive. So I think I've yelled enough in closing. Please go ahead and Comment below, subscribe to my channel to win one of these Chanel double facets mirrors. Check out my Instagram. I've already put highlights. Shout out to all my guys and girls who have received their mirrors to prove I'm giving them away. I've already put them in highlights, so go check out the highlights of everyone who has won one of these mirrors. If you liked this type of video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, there is a button below. I would super appreciate that. That, guys I will see you in my next video take care peace I